in part 4 of adding list columns let's take a look into another advanced column type for external data while manage metadata list column is useful in adding hierarchical metadata to list items or documents external data list column type allows you to consume metadata from external systems within your sharepoint list or libraries here external data in sharepoint is exposed using sharepoint feature called external content type a content type is a mechanism in SharePoint for classification of content created or consumed within SharePoint. I will cover this feature in detail later in the video series. Practically any external system such as SAP, CRM, Oracle, SQL Server, or even a web service which contains your business data can be consumed using this type. And you have read, write, and query access to that data within SharePoint list and libraries. Unlike other list columns where metadata is created by you as a site administrator, this column type requires your organization's IT team to be involved and make the data available via business data connectivity service. The site admins only consumes what's exposed via external data. Let's see how that works. So here I have a list states in my SharePoint site and I have a country's table in a SQL Server database which I want to consume in this list. So I go to list, list settings, and add a column let's call this column country and then select external data when I select this uh, I have a option of making it required field but then I have a, this option of specifying what external content type I want to consume I have a uh, two buttons here so let's say if I type countries because I know the name of the external content type if I click this it's actually getting that so it's this button actually makes sure that based on what you type it actually searches the external content type list or you can also cl click the sec second button and then it opens up this dialog box and uh, this box actually lists all the external content type that are exposed in my SharePoint site so I can also click OK here and it's selecting that. As soon as I select the external content type, uh, it actually shows me what fields I have available in that content type and which field I want to actually display, use it as a display for this particular list column. So let's choose the country name and then leave the default other, other default option as it is. Click OK and then if I go to states list, you can see that the new uh, column country is added here but the, there is no data into it okay and you can see that there are some uh, drop downs here so if I edit this item to populate that so here you can see that the country uh, column is there it is required so we have to fill it up so if I click this thing here second button it actually goes to the uh, BDC and get contacts the SQL server and gets the data and shows that data into here so that I can populate my item let's select this second USA record and click Save now you can see I have a USA here and then this is the action menu right now there are no actions exposed via BDC uh, service for this particular content type so let's do that for other uh, the item I'm just USA and for this particular item um, we will choose another country just so that we can display uh, so I am selecting Canada here all right so we populated three columns okay and then you can see that if I click this, I can say show me uh, con uh, show me the states for USA and actually it filters that. So see how the external data is consumed in my list. Now there is a second way of doing that is creating an external list based on the external content type. So in this particular example, I directly added an external data column. So there is another way of doing that. So let's first go to the list settings and delete this column. I'm going here I'm just I'm deleting this 
and clicking OK. All right. Now let's go to site content and create a list based on external content type. So I'm going to search here external and I have the external list. So let's create an external list based on and say countries and I'm country and I'm selecting this oops right I have to search using this countries and click create once I click create it will create an external list it will create a list that's actually uh, see it says external here so if I go here now you have a SharePoint list that's actually content that's actually communicating directly to the SQL server countries list so if I make any change here it's it's gonna probably write down the to the SQL server so now I have a country ISO code and country name now I can I can uh, you know reference this list as a lookup column so let's go to the state here is a list list settings and then we will go to create a column country lookup and here I am selecting countries and this time I am actually choosing country name so remember we created a list of type external content type and then we are right now referencing that list using a lookup column so I'm just clicking OK here and if I go to the state now I have the country here right so if I go here and edit the item same thing I have a country and I can go here and USA like that the only difference in this particular case is that you can see you have the list of that particular content type called countries here okay so the first approach we directly created the the column directly contacting the SQL server database while here it's actually exposed via a list in SharePoint each video contains a link to presentation slide which has extra reading material links in the notes thanks for watching this video and I hope you find this video useful